Hello and welcome. My name is Shriram Nudrapati, and I'm a customer engineer with Google Cloud, and I'm a data and analytics specialist. Today, we are here to talk about customer data platforms and how they can help you better understand your customer behavior and create personalized experiences for them. Customers today are highly demanding. Uh, they want brands to make them where they are on the channels they are comfortable at. They would accept any experience that is tailored specific to their needs and reject those that aren't. Let's take an example of a customer, Jane. She is a millennial and she just purchased some detergent at her favorite store from her favorite brand. And a day or two later, Jane receives an email coupon for a different brand of detergent, but she's not interested because she just made a purchase. What would have been more interesting to Jane was if she received a coupon for a fabric softener, which goes well with, her, with the brand of detergent that she just purchased. So this is what customers today uh, are expecting from brands, a more personalized experience. What would have been even more useful is if the brand considered there is uh, everything there was to know about Jane, uh, like her purchasing patterns over the past several years, her loyalty card data, the kind of returns she made, and the kind of YouTube videos she, she watches on, on the similar brands and took this information to make better personalized product recommendation. And now that is very useful for the customer of today. So shoppers today have way more touch points. They interact with your web app. They make purchases at physical stores. They even make purchases on your uh, mobile app. They watch your YouTube videos, maybe even podcasts. And all these different touch point interactions creates a wealth of data. The data that you could use to create really personalized experiences for your customers. So let's see what's stopping retailers from doing that today, uh, from really creating a cross-channel experience for the customers. Uh, there are a few prominent challenges, starting with the data stores. All the data that these touch points create are stored on various disparate systems, ranging from CRM, ad campaigns, sales, and even loyalty and social media systems, creating data silos, which hinders the brands from creating a holistic customer view. And also the systems, uh, the so-called legacy systems that brands use today to run their ad and marketing campaigns were not designed to deal with the influx of big data that all these touch points generate. And finally, it's not sufficient for brands to just create personalized experiences. There should be a way to integrate these experiences back to the customer touch points, which again, the legacy systems were not designed to do. So given these challenges, brands, in spite of having a wealth of data about the customers, are not able to reach the customers where they want, where they are, and you know how they want. So how can we solve this problem, right? So a customer data platform is a solution for this problem. So what a customer data platform does is it integrates all your data, breaks the silos, and helps you build a holistic view of the customer uh, from which you can better understand your customer behavior uh, and engage them in a much better way. So let's take a look, at, a deeper look at what a CDP can do for your business. Uh, so CDP can initially, uh, you know, start helping your marketing and customer services team. Uh, you can make data-driven decisions by building data-driven customer segments, uh, you know, predicting customer lifetime value and understanding which customers bring more value to your brand. Um, and then we don't have to stop at the marketing team. So you can also help other departments at our organizations. For instance, if we take store managers, store managers perform demand for forecasting based on the historical sales data. What if they could also tap into the customer behavior data, understand customer trends, the you know what they want today, and then build much, much better demand forecasts, right? This will help them maximize revenues across all channels. Even merchandising and logistics and ops teams, um, they make a lot of decisions around assortment planning as to you know, which uh, assortment we should keep at our store. Uh, and the decisions are based on inventory trends. But if they also bring in customer behavior, uh, then they could really personalize uh, the experiences for the customer, helping them minimize wastage and also maximize revenues. And executives across organization can also benefit uh, from the CDP. They can get real-time data on the state of their business and customer behavior and really make informed uh, data-driven decisions. So essentially, a customer data platform is a stepping stone towards enterprise data activation. And Google can really help you become a customer-centric and a data-driven organization. 
So let's see how Google can help you on the CDP journey. So the first step of CDP is breaking the data silos and bringing all the data together. And Google can help you uh, with collecting and transforming all the data uh, and building a, a single holistic view of your customer. And once you have the data, the customer behavior data all at one place, uh, then you can really you know, uh, leverage the dashboards uh, in, in, in a tool like Looker uh, and get the current state of business, understand really customer behavior and make some data-driven decisions. You can even take it uh, further one step and apply the AI and ML capabilities that Google brings to build uh, predictive models, which better uh, help you perform uh, you know, customer segmentation, credit customer lifetime value, even build recommendation engines that can make personalized product recommendations to your customers. And once have, we have this personalized experience built, we can also take it back to the customer via the various touch point integrations uh, that Google offers. So now let's take a deeper look as to how exactly Google can help you uh, on your CDP journey. So Google can essentially help you in two different ways, right? The first way is uh, about 70% of retailers use Google's products for their marketing and uh, ad needs like Google's ads platform and marketing platforms. Uh, consumers also start their shopping journey by doing product research on Google. Uh, this generates a wealth of customer behavior data uh, that you can tap into by partnering uh, with Google and leverage the one Google expertise. And talking about the technology uh, front, uh, Google also has built uh, you know, uh, a plethora of technology platforms that can help you on your CDP journey, starting with you know, collecting and transforming data. So Google BigQuery data transfer service has more than 100 uh, you know, connectors that can connect to your first party as well as third party data. Uh, you can really, uh, you know, process and integrate your data at petabyte scale and store in a single data warehouse, which is BigQuery. And once you have the customer holistic data sitting in BigQuery, you can leverage BigQuery's BI engine to really uh, get uh, insights into customer behavior in real time in seconds instead of hours or days. Then you can also leverage Looker or another BI tool like Tableau uh, to uh, build dashboards, which give the state of the business, um, you know, the way it is in real time. Google BigQuery and Google's AI and ML service can also help you make those better data-driven decisions by building predictive models uh, without having to even, you know, write a single line of code or needing a data scientist, really accelerating your time to value. And finally, Google has connected to all first party Google marketing and ad products, along with the other third party CRM and social media kind of products to help you take these experiences back to your customer. So now let's see how we can bring this all together uh, and show you a customer journey or your CDP journey on Google. So to start with, you know, you can start collecting your data from all the first party data that Google already has for you. Uh, something like GA360, your uh, user view, viewership data on YouTube, uh, data collected from your web apps and your mobile apps on Firebase. Uh, not only this, you can also get data from third party systems using the BigQuery connectors. Uh, and the third party systems could be your CRM systems, you know, uh, something like Salesforce or Zendesk, or your customer service systems. Um, you can also get data from social media, your e-commerce and finance system. Then you can leverage the BigQuery's uh, data web services uh, along with other Google products like Google Data Flow to really process, clean, and integrate the data in real time and store it on the you know, petabyte scale subsequent query response uh, you know, engine, which is BigQuery. You could also leverage Google's cloud and ML engine uh, to not just stop at descriptive analytics, but also build all those predictive models to really predict customer behavior uh, and understand future patterns. And finally, once you have built those personalized uh, you know, uh, uh, experiences for your customer, you can also activate it back uh, to all the first party and third party uh, you know, uh, products, including your uh, uh, Google Ads GA360 your website, or even your mobile app. So this way, by leveraging Google's expertise in the retail and CPG industry, along with all the first party data that Google already has for you, you can embark on your CDP journey. So if you have any further questions, or if you want to start your CDP journey, 
please feel to reach out to our account teams. Thank you.